In this tutorial we are going to be talking about the magnetic force on parallel wires. So for instance we have wire 1 and wire 2 which are for instance a distance let's say a distance R between so let's suppose for instance that in this sense the current goes towards this direction. If we use right hand rule right uh, well, at the lower part, the magnetic field, for instance, will go towards the inside, right? So, the second wire will receive, for instance, a magnetic field towards the inside. Now, let's suppose that the second wire carries a current towards this direction. Since the force, let's remember, is Q, times V cross B, right? Uh, well, there are charges moving at a certain velocity, as for instance the current uh, at a certain length, right? So we can say that Q times V is going to be th the same as Q times L at a certain, for instance, um, time cross B or in other words this will be transformed to the current times L cross B right so for instance if the second current is going towards the uh, same direction right well with the right hand rule you can use the right hand rule so you point your index towards I, right, then the magnetic field towards inwards, this will go a force towards the upwards direction, right, and of course, since every action has a reaction, this guy will also attract, so in this sense, the two uh, currents going towards the same direction will be an attractive uh, force, now let's suppose the same situation where the force is I L cross B, right? And in this sense, for instance, let's suppose that the current goes towards the opposite direction. In this case, you can use your right hand rule, right? And then this pointing towards uh, the left, going inwards. So in that sense, your right hand rule will state that this is a repulsive force, so if the currents go towards opposite directions, this is a repulsive force. The two forces are the same due to action-reaction, or have the same magnitude due to action-reaction, uh, these are action-reaction pairs, right, third Newton's law. The force is equal to I L B cross B, so the magnitude of that force is going to be equal to I, the current, times L, the length, times B. B, for instance, uh, is going to be the magnetic field from the other wire, times the sine of the angle, this is sine of 90, because L and B are vectors that are perpendicular, right? Or we can state I, L, and B, being, for instance, the magnetic field due to the other wire is going to be I, right, times mu zero over 2PR, right, which, for instance, at the very end, we can have I squared times L times mu zero over 2P times radius, being the radius, the distance between these two wires. So this is the magnitude of the force due to to current carrier and uh, to current carrying wires right